Okay. Well, your story is very different, to, I suppose, and um, it began where? Who wants to take the rival? Why don't I ask you? How did you meet, or where did you meet, or what happened? Um, we met doing a musical. The amateur musical societies have a lot to answer for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Paul came back from Australia. I'd been away on, on, a, on, a, on a, an elongated trip to Australia and I'd been summoned back because they were three weeks to the show and there was nothing done. And I was supposed to be the stage manager. Okay. So there was no set built, there was nothing prepared. So uh, I came home and, you know, arrived in straight into it, straight into building the set. Of course, talking to all the others in the, in the musical society and they were going, there's this new girl. Yeah. She's fab, she's playing a second lead, she can sing, she can dance, will you look at her in the, in the outfit, okay? They, she was just wonderful, gorgeous one. And I was kind of building the set and kind of trying to take surreptitious looks yeah. across so, so that I, I could see her. You know? yeah, yeah, and yeah. just working away. See, a, a friend of mine in college had asked me to go down and audition for the show and then when we were in the throes of the show she said, um, is little Lucky there? And I said, who's little Lockie? Because that's what his nickname was okay. at the time, you see. So she said, it's Paul. Go up to him and say, Joanna says hello. So he arrived all full of business and he was hammering the set. And I was terrified of him because he, you know, you didn't get in his way because he, he had to get this show on. So I went up and I went, um, are you little lucky? And he went, yep. I was like, Joanna says hello. And I ran. And yeah. I was gone. You're too scared. Yeah, too scared. just terrified. So what I was doing... Was, oh my God, she's coming up, she's coming up, she's walking up onto the stage, she's yeah. coming to me. Oh, she's kind of sin. I better quick, quick, do something, don't stop, yeah, don't yeah, stop, yeah, keep yeah, banging yeah. those nails in, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys, you know what it's like. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yeah. So we'll get, we'll, we'll, what we'll assume is that you <laughs> went on a, on a date, you dated for about a month when yeah. something peculiar happened, which was what? We were going out for a month, and I had gone away t for the day, Easter Monday, to a family uh, christening down the country. Sure. And I came back, and I wanted to bring her a present, okay? And Alva loved Zig and Zag, and she really loved Zig, and I got her a big balloon with a Zig Teddy in it. Nice. And so I brought it out to her, but I was feeling rotten. Okay. So I dropped it in, and I said, I'm not staying. I'm going home. There you are, dear. And I gave it to her, and I went home. And... Uh, the next morning I was living at home, the next morning I got up and about 6 o'clock in the morning I went into my parents and I said, you'd better ring a doctor because I think I'm dying. And what was wrong with you? Well, as it turned out, I had meningitis, but not very many people knew about meningitis yeah. at the time. So I was rushed into St. Vincent's Hospital and that's where my memory ends <laughs> because I don't remember anything after that. Alva, it was a month. You could, yeah. have, you could have got the 46A out of Dodge, yeah. left him alone. Yeah. But what happened? Um, we had, we had realised after about two weeks that this was moving really fast and we had just fallen in love. We, so after two weeks we were sitting outside Gleason's pub to meet some friends and we both started to have the conversation of this is exciting, this is scary and our friends went into the pub and we were like yeah we'll see you in there in five minutes and then they came back out and it was midnight and we'd been sitting in the car talking. So okay. it had all moved very quickly. It was quickly. one of those, yeah. yeah. It was actually yeah. talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Thanks for the yeah. clarification, Paul. So when he, went, when he got sick um, and he ended up going into a coma, um, I, it was like everything was just like he can't die. Uh, because we were told 24 hours was critical. Well, you were given, that was that yeah. close? Yeah. yeah. And we were also told strictly family only were allowed to see him. And he's an only child. And we were only together a month. And his parents very generously included me on family only or allowed. So to when see you him. got in to see him that first time in the hospital, how did that go? Um, he was lying in the bed. He was unconscious. And then we, I was standing there and I was with my dad. And I said, I don't know what to do. Do I talk to him? And then the next thing he went into a kind of fit. Yeah. And a whole load of team of doctors came in and he was gone. And then he was brought down to isolation in intensive care. And so we had to put an apron on and masks and everything to go in and see him. And he was in a coma for five days. Um, and when he came round, yes. he lost two years of his memory. Oh, <laughs> holy smoke. Yeah. Mm. So he's going, she's nice. <laughs> yeah. That's it, exactly. <laughs> Let's do it again. Yeah. So when, when you did... When he did come around, yeah. what did he, he looked at you as he hadn't said what or did what? Or? Well, he, he was kind of high because <laughs> he had a lot of morphine. Yeah, um, it's going to help. And <laughs> we were told by the doctors not to upset him because that doesn't help the recovery process for the, for the memory to come back. 
and uh, we had discovered that he'd lost two years of his memory because he thought he was in his old office, which yeah. was two years previously. So that's how we knew. So I had to come in and I had to say, my name is Alva and so on and so forth. But he kept holding my hand and he actually asked me out again <laughs> while he was... It was really, really quiet because they just pulled the tubes out of his mouth and I had to go down and listen. And he, so, and he said, would you like to go to the cinema? Do you think he had a recognition after all that? Or was we it were told by the doctors. In fact, actually, the doctors took him down um, to a whole bunch of medical students to kind of use him as an experiment or a, a, a <laughs> test case or something. And they said to us that what goes straight away with amnesia are facts and figures. Okay. So, and what stays are emotions. So the deeper the emotions, the, the more that they, they stay with you. So that's what... That's how they explained to us what was going on. And you're together how long now? Five weeks short of 30 years. No way. Yeah. How useful you are. <laughs>